Well, it looks like the green chili's doing really well. And they're gonna be excellent in this next dish, green chili cheeseburgers. I'm Tim Martinez, and welcome to the Disco Dish. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to be cooking green chili cheeseburgers, a New Mexico favorite. We're adding our own local variety green chili on this burger. So let me show you the patties. We have 50% Wagyu, 50% bison. Makes a tasty burger. The disco's nice and hot, so let's put them on the disco. Okay, so we got the, the burgers in the disco. And like I said, we have Wagyu and bison combined. And so what we want to do is we're going to cook these for a couple of minutes, minutes on each side. We don't want to overcook them, um, but we're going to keep a close eye on them. And in New Mexico, we like to put green chili on everything. And why should that be any different with the cheeseburger? Oh yeah, look at that. Now they're flipped and they're looking really good, but I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. So everybody's cooked a burger. These are just our special burger that we like to share with friends and family. With us turning up the heat, we have to be real careful of not to overcook them. So they're almost about done. I'm going to move them around a little bit just to make sure they're evenly cooked. So the burgers, they're almost cooked. So what we're going to do is we're going to place some buns around to toast them and we're gonna place the green chili and cheese on it to melt a little bit. That's what we're looking for. And we're almost there. We got about three out of four, just about right. They're just about ready. So I'm gonna place some buns on the edge of the disco. Thank you. I don't use the tie, I just rip them open. So we got the buns on the edge, we're gonna toast a little bit. I'm gonna add the green chili strip. That's the way I like them. A lot of people chop it up. I like a green chili strip on my burger. Take a look at that beauty. X marks the spot. So now I'm gonna place the cheese. I like to use Gouda cheese, but it's up to you what, you, what cheese you like. Got an extra, I'll place it on this one. I'm moving the burgers to the edge of the disco. It's a little bit cooler there because we wanna kind of stop this uh, cooking process right now. Just keep them warm. We're gonna continue uh, toasting the buns though. Now that the burgers are ready, we're gonna plate it. And that's the disco dish. Another one, another fantastic tasty dish. Here we go. After this one, are you going to try that? <laughs> <laughs>